Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code Exiles video. Today we are in the southern desert, just to the east of the Howling Plateau, building a Greek temple just underneath a small waterfall. This build was suggested by Alex Tater on my Viking long haul build guide, so thank you for the suggestion. Of course, with this being a Greek temple, we'll be using items almost exclusively as requested from the Jewel of the West DLC. This temple won't be dedicated to any specific god as I intend to build all different god temples and, of course, rework my Yogg temple at a later date, but rather it will be a place of worship to nature. Along with the various plant decorations within the structure itself, the temple sits on a small offshoot of the southern river, fed by one of the waterfalls from the river in the middle of the desert. This build took some initial inspiration from my temple to Jebel Sag in terms of structure, with some extra variety to ensure it's not just a rebuild of that initial inspiration. This build also features an underground workshop area, as per the Alex Tater's request, which is a fairly straightforward and easy segment to build. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly we are going to start off with the base plate. I first built a partial circular platform just in front of the waterfall, tucking in the front and the back sections to make it more of a crescent shape on either side, with a one tile wide walkway going from the waterfall platform to the main body of the temple. I used regular foundations to build up the main temple area, creating a three tile high foundation block with a hollow interior to allow for the underground section I mentioned earlier. I then also built a walkway at the front of the build to connect to either side of the coast, along with placing ceilings atop the hollow area, placing stairs to access the workshop in the basement, and creating some extensions on each of the four corners of the main temple area, which will act as sort of decorative supports for the roof I'll build later. Next, for the walls. I placed a large Aquilonian gateway at the front of the build and built walls around the rest of the temple, leaving a one tile wide section open around the entire temple area as a border to reach the waterfall shrine, should visitors not want to pass directly through the temple itself. I placed windows at intervals throughout the build to allow for some visual connection to the outside of the temple, and placed regular doorways at the back of the build to allow access again to the waterfall shrine from within. I also placed stairs at the front and back of the build, and placed fences around the waterfall shrine itself, the walkway to there, the walkway surrounding the temple, and the front walkway connected to the coast. I then built up the extensions on each corner to match the height of the walls, which were four tiles high from the base.
Next, for the roof. I built a flat roof atop the build with ceilings, extending it out over the surrounding walkway areas and linking it to the top of the extensions. I then placed another foundation atop the extensions and placed fences around the roof. I then went and built up stairs above the pre-existing basement stairs to access the roof. I separated this area as best as possible from the rest of the temple, enclosing the stairs as best as possible around the sides. I built a buffer wall between the temple and the stairs area, placing a door frame in the middle and building the wall two tiles high, placing Aquilonian rooftop pieces atop this wall section. I then headed back to the roof, placing rooftop pieces atop the extensions. I then decided to use Aquilonia rooftop pieces and corner pieces next to the fence pieces I'd already placed on the roof, placing fences again on the other side of the rooftop pieces when they were fully complete, making the roof a little smaller but making it more visually interesting. I then went back down into the temple and placed fences on either side of the rooftop pieces I'd placed earlier atop the buffer walls though I would later remove the fence on the stairs side of the wall and replace it with regular walls stretching up to the roof. Finally, I used regular and corner Aquilonian ramp pieces to add some dimension around the top of the temple, creating a sloped incline to the ceilings around the entire body of the main temple building. Finally, I placed doors and gateways at the appropriate places around the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, the area is lit with standing and Aquilonian torches with the gateway guarded by Aquilonian Spear Warriors. Entering the temple through the gateway, the main room is a nice relaxing place of worship to the gods of nature, with a statue of refreshment in the centre of the room garnered with potted plants. Aquilonian divans are at either side, with statues of the Aquilonian maiden in each corner. Heading through the buffer door, we'll head out the back door to the waterfall shrine, the Shrine of the Warrior. This picturesque shrine is the perfect quiet spot in the dangerous exiled lands, sitting below the small waterfall.
Next, we'll head back inside and down to the basement workshop. This area is a spacious workshop that will be the perfect place for crafters, armourers and the like to work their trade. Finally, the roof is an outdoor relaxation area, being nicely enclosed by the fence and rooftop structures but still allowing a great view of the surrounding desert. And there we have it, a Greek temple just east of the Howling Plateau in the Exiled Lands. Thanks for watching, and again thanks to Alex Tater for the suggestion. It's been a while since I've used Aqualonian to build something like this, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and if you have any future suggestions for builds, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to join the fun on our Discord through the link in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description with various tiers and rewards from special discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos before anybody else, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Doomshade and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the content on the channel. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be the first to see the next video, and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.